Hi guys, welcome to his channel. What's up? It's your boy, Maze Guy. What else? It's your boy. It's a vlog. Corn boy, welcome to my corn. This one's my favorite. Fall is here. The leaves are changing colors and are falling. It took way too long for me to make that connection in my life. Creating a beautiful reminder that the nights are getting a little bit longer, the days a little bit chillier, and pumpkin spice lattes everywhere to be found. In a crooked little town, there are fallen leaves all over on the ground. There also comes a small problem. It's just a little too cold in order to enjoy these summer activities but it's not cold enough in order to do the winter activities. For fall activities, is going to the source of pumpkin spice at the pumpkin patch really that fun? Even though there is no real pumpkins and pumpkin spice until 2015? Will the haunted corn maze give you just enough of that Halloween vibes or is it all gonna come down to those beautiful animals at the petting zoo? Let's follow old McDonald and let's talk about the farm. Welcome to my channel where I tell you about my adventures, challenges, and opinions to encourage you to take on adventures yourself because life is just worth living. So let's live it up a little bit more. That sounds like something that pets your goat. Maybe consider liking and subscribing so we can go on this journey, but let's talk about the fall at the farm. This is gonna be a mini review trifecta as if you're gonna to go to one of these farms or fall festivals, you're really gonna hit three main things. Usually a petting zoo, a pumpkin patch, and a corn maze. I'm gonna be reviewing each three of these individually and then tell you my overall thoughts of fall at the farm together. But what is this fall at the farm? It's a relatively new concept for people who live in the big city who buy their pumpkins at Walmart. No judging. With many other fall traditions, it wasn't really uncommon for farmers markets or for rural areas to go to the local farm in order to get your pumpkins, but other fruits and vegetables. These smaller towns and rural areas, because they were a lot more connected, they had a lot more of these fall traditions and kept going on with them. For the big city, when you're stuck inside the town, you don't really get that opportunity. Some of these farms have found a business opportunity in order to take advantage of the big population that's really, really close to where they are. They also have these delicious homemade pumpkin flavored everything from jams to tarts to pies. And they sell a lot of other homemade delicious goods. Some bigger places in the United States have definitely leaned more into that festival side and definitely selling you on this rural Disneyland experience. Me and my partner in crime. You'll never catch me now, coppers. Went to one called Man Farms that offers this fall at the farm experience. The canoes was really inexpensive. It was only $15 per person and it's a little bit cheaper if you paid for it online in advance. The one bad thing is a lot of them are gonna sell you on multiple activities, making it seem like there's a lot more than there actually is. They'll sell you on like seven plus activities. Well, really it's all kind of the same thing. It's all one big playground and it's mostly all for kids and the pumpkin patch, which is the first thing we're gonna get into. You get to walk around and look at all these pumpkins that are down in a row. And if you want to get your own pumpkin, you can and choose one. You do have to pay for it, but it's fun that you get to choose your own. You get more selection than the supermarket. It's definitely not necessary. The price is not that huge of a difference compared to each other, but sometimes it's just fun to be able to pick your own. I had no idea that there were white pumpkins until I came to here. I don't know if that's common knowledge, but also those Orange and white bad boys can get so large. I guess I just haven't seen so many pumpkins in my life. We obviously competed to see who could find the best and biggest pumpkin. I think I won. It's also a basic girl photo gallery, which people love. There's the families that are just walking around picking the pumpkins. And then there's the fashion driven Uggs wearing girls that are all taking different photo shoots somewhere else. And that's really it. It's very simple. You're looking at this beautiful pumpkin patch. It does give you those fall vibes and it does feel like you're missing out on something if you're not picking your own pumpkin, but it's not necessary. Just like me doing groceries, it's get in, look, get what you need and get out. You're probably only gonna be here for five, maybe 10 minutes. They are great photos, I mean, I took some. Oh no, am I one of those basic girls? Farm activity number two, and that is the corn maze. The normal one and the whole spooky haunted one. Pretty straightforward. A giant field of corn that's cut in a way that it is a maze. You go in the entrance and you try to get out. If you always want to know what it felt like to be one of those mice that were experimented on by scientists where they had to try to go through the maze and get some cheese, you can be that. No cheese, so maybe a little bit worse. It's 
walking around technically with a goal, but if you've seen my video about hiking, you know that something that's just walking is not enough for me. Really, it's walking, but a little bit more confusing. If you're competitive like us, we obviously went in and decided to see who could get out first. She got out first, but there were also hidden frozen movie trivia, which I got 100% correct on, which I'm very proud of. I know my frozen trivia. And it gets repetitive in the site because it's just corn in corners. Unless you're a huge fan of corn, then you're gonna love this. Or a huge fan of corners, then I guess you're gonna love this too. Now, if you wanna get into the Halloween vibe, a lot of them have these haunted corn maze and they get into the Halloween spirit. I mean, for some people, corn is gonna be scary enough. That's called Kalampokiphobia. Ooh, that confusing aspect of being inside the corn maze actually gives it to an advantage being a haunted corn maze because you don't know when the next scary thing is gonna happen. You don't really have any clues because you're trying to turn the corners in the direction and try to find your way out. But in that confusing aspect, then you can get scared and spooked. It has a very Texas Chainsaw Massacre feeling. It's definitely no longer kid friendly. The Frozen trivia, maybe, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, not as kid friendly. If you love those Halloween vibes or you get scared very easily, this is gonna be great. If you're someone who goes into normal haunted houses, and doesn't get scared very easily, or those haunted houses just don't give you that spook that you're looking for, you're not gonna find it here. It's also kind of funny if you get lost and you end up coming back exactly where you were and you see the same guy who was trying to scare you a couple of times, you start to really get to know each other, like in a very deep level. And you realize the killer was just misunderstood. Still killed people though, so ratted him out instantly, but we bonded. In general, normal corn maze, Confused and walking, kid friendly, haunted corn maze, great for the Halloween vibes. But if you don't get scared, you're not gonna get more scared here. You know who probably loves eating corn? Animals, I think, that you pet. Petting zoo, that's the next one, petting zoo. Who doesn't love petting animals? There's something so simple and simplistic. Like we want to have a connection with living creatures. It seems so human. Whatever the reason, it's still an enjoyable experience to have a connection with a living, wild creature. You can also buy these bags of food in order to feed these animals, which they're very food motivated and that'll allow them to come a little bit closer and it's a lot easier to pet them. Sometimes they'll just be walking around out to where everyone else is walking. You'll, you'll hang out with goats, you'll hang out with chickens, like kind of just hanging out. And it's this weird feeling of being able to be so close to these animals without any consequences. The main animals you're gonna see is a bunch of chickens, and a bunch of goats. We did end up finding sheep all the way hidden back in the corner. And it was a little disappointing because you really want to be a part of way more animals. We we're hoping for pigs because pigs is our favorite farm animal, but you're really only gonna find those two types of animals. Here are some tips if you are going to the petting zoo or if they have one. You do want to get there early. They get fed a lot by so many people who buy the feeding bags and, uh, and to the afternoon, they're pretty full in them when they don't even want any more food. If you're in a group, it's worth paying the three bucks to have the feeding bag. It's easier to pet these animals with food and that's kind of what you're there for, but you can always scavenge some food on the ground, just find corn that the kids have just thrown. You only need one or two pieces to really pet the animals. And you want to wash your hands. Animals aren't known to be the cleanest things. You know, they roll around in their feces, so Wash your hands after. That was a snippet of all three, but now let's talk about it in general. Let's talk about the pros of the fall at the farm. It's fun for the family. If you're looking for something to do with kids, it's very easy. Kids love animals and they always have a bunch of these playgrounds. You can bring your aunt, uncle, grandparents, kids, nieces, nephews, everyone's welcome. You get to pet animals. Who doesn't love animals? That will always be very enjoyable. Most tickets last about two hours and you'll definitely be there for about two hours. You will go through almost the two hours, but you won't go past it. Oh, and the food is delicious. It's homemade, fresh farm food. That is delicious. And the prices aren't crazy. They're not inexpensive. Very similar to what you find at a restaurant. Very cheap, very easy to do 
and the haunted corn maze gives you that Halloween vibes. The pumpkin patch gives you the fall vibes and the animals definitely cheer you up. It's very difficult to be mad with animals, but there are some cons to the fall at the farm. You do miss out on a lot of animals. It's mostly goats and chickens and it's not the same for every single farm but it doesn't mean you're gonna get all those options, which is a little disappointing, mostly because we wanted to pet a pig, but that's also kind of it. After that, it's mostly looking at stuff or walking around, but if you're looking for something more, you're not really gonna get that here. It's more for kids and families and a lot less for adults. And I kept feeling like there was missing something. I remember going to a farm experience when I was a kid and they gave tractor rides and they gave tours to the farms. And I know the situation is different, but I couldn't help but feeling I needed just, just one more activity. Because everything else was more just looking and walking, if you took all of that out and you kept only the petting zoo, you might still have a very enjoyable experience. This is more to get the fall feeling, get into that mood. And my final thoughts and rating. I find ironic how popular these fall at the farms experiences have become. It just proves to me more and more that people that feel like they're stuck at that nine to five grind, that they're stuck in city, that they actually do want to get away, that that normal life is not the life that people actually want, which is why people love vacations and want to get away to something else. But I'll rate this in easy peasy, lemon squeezy one and done adventure it's nice to get into that fall experience and it's nice to have something halloween that you can actually do but you're probably not going to do it more than once you're not missing out on a lot of stuff if you don't go and you probably won't do it again but if you're looking for other adventures i have links down below to groupon and airbnb which is how i find most of my experiences and you get to save yourself just a little bit of money that's my experience what do you think are you going to try to have this fall in the farm experience what is your favorite fall tradition that you like to do i would love to hear from you so you can let me know down below in the comments or you can hit me up on social media and i will see you at the next adventure.